Thank you, Lord, for your peace in our life. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you, Lord, for your love, of your kindness, of your goodness, of your faithfulness towards us. We exalt your name that it be that exalted. In the name of Jesus, that it be that exalted, Almighty God. That it be that exalted. We thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing. We thank you, Lord, for all that you will do this morning. We thank you, Lord, for the end of your grace, and of your mercy, and of your kindness, and of your goodness, and of your faithfulness in our life. We exhort you this morning that it be that exalted, O oh God, that it be that exalted, Jehovah God, that it be that exalted, Emmanuel, we thank you. Jesus, we honor you, we give that praise to you, we give that glory to you, we give that honor to your name, we give that praise to you, we give that praise to you, O oh God. We thank you, just thank him, give that honor to whom is due. Let's celebrate Jesus, our Lord. Let's celebrate Jesus, our King. Let's give that praise to the Lord Almighty. Let's give that praise to the righteous God, to the Holy One of Israel, to the faithful one. We thank you, O God. Let's celebrate Jesus, our Lord. Let's say, Daddy, we just thank you. We say thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Let's begin to honor the Lord. Let's begin to honor Jehovah God for all that he has done for us, for all that he will do in our life, in our own, in our family. Let's give the Lord the praise. Let's give the Lord the honor, the Lord the adoration. Good God, faithful God. Righteous God, only God, we thank you. Lord Almighty, we worship you. We exalt your name. We exalt your name. We praise you for all that you are doing. We praise you for all that you will do. Thank him. Give that praise to him. Give that honor to the Lord. Let's begin to thank him. Let's begin to worship him. Let's begin to honor the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages. Let's thank Him. Let's thank Him. Let's bless Him. Let's worship Him. Let's give that praise to Him. What a mighty God that we serve. Father, we honor you, Jesus. Jehovah God, we give praise to you. Somebody give that praise to him. Somebody honor the Lord. Let's honor the Lord. Let's honor the King. Let's honor Jehovah God. Let's give that praise to him. That honor to the one that is worthy to receive it. Let's give that praise and honor to him. The Lord that is worthy of all our praise. The Lord that is worthy of all our praise. Let's give that praise to him. Father, we thank you. We honor your name. We worship you. We exalt you. We thank you for your love towards us, for your love towards our life. Somebody, let's thank him. Let's thank him. Let's honor the Lord. Let's honor Jehovah God. Glory be to him. Glory be to God. Father, we thank you. Jehovah God, we honor you for who you are. Somebody bless the Lord. Let's bless the Lord. Let's bless the King. Let's bless Jehovah God. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, El Shaddai. Let's thank Him. Let's worship Him. Let's give that praise to Him this morning. For all that he has done for us and all that he has in plan to do for our life remember he told us he has a good thought towards you so let's thank him for that let's thank him for that good thought 
of God towards our life. Let's thank him for that good talk towards you. Let's thank him for good talk towards your family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for giving you this day. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for giving us this privilege to see today. Thank him. He has the power over all. He has the power over it. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord, for giving me this day. Ah, my Yayaba, Shikata, Luzutu Pelicity. We thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we worship you. Lord, we give honor to you. Lord, we worship your name. Lord, we praise your name. Lord, we honor your name. Just honor the name of our God. Honor the name of our King. Honor the name of our Savior. And Lord Jesus, we thank you for all that you have done for us. And all that you will do again. We praise your name. We praise your name. We honor your name. We give praise to you, God. Somebody give that praise to him. Somebody honor him. Honor the Lord. Honor Jehovah. Honor Jehovah. Honor Jehovah. Honor the King. Honor our Savior. Honor Jehovah God. Somebody thank him. Somebody give that praise to him. Somebody honor the Lord. Honor him from the bottom of your heart. Honor him from the bottom of your heart. Honor him. Honor, honor the Lord. Honor the Lord. Honor our King. Honor Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, worship him this morning and give that praise to him and give that honor to him. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we Lord, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we honor you, Jesus. Just honor him from the bottom of your heart. Honor him. Let's say, Jesus, I thank you. Jesus, I glorify you. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Father. Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are well, that food. You are worthy. Of 
to the king, Lord, you are good, Lord, you are kind, Lord, you are faithful, Lord, you are righteous, Lord, you are glorious, let's thank him, let's worship him, Lord, you are good, there's no one like him, there's no one beside him, give that praise to him, give that honor to him, Lord, you are faithful, 
Somebody thank him. Give that honor to him. Jehovah God, you are good. Jehovah God, I worship you. Jehovah God, I honor you. Jehovah God, there is no one beside you. Jehovah God, you are kind. Jehovah God, somebody thank him. Tell him that he's good. Father, I thank you because you are good. You are good to me. You are good to my children. You are good to every one of us. You are, you are good. Father, we thank you. Thank for your goodness, O God. Somebody thank him. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for all that he has done for you. Thank him for all that he has done for you. Oh, thank him. 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 Thank him for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of life. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the gift of life in my life. Thank for the grace of your mercy towards me, of your love towards my life, of your kindness towards me. Let's give that praise to him. Let's give that honor to the Lord. Jehovah God, I worship your name. Jehovah God, I worship your name. Jehovah God, we worship your name. We give that praise to you. We give that honor to you. We give that glory to you. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God that we worship. That heaven and earth bow before him. Even the angels worship him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. What a mighty God. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God that we serve. What a mighty God who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee, O Lord, who is like unto thee. Oh Lord, who is like unto thee? Oh Lord, a man, the God, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, faithful in praying, always do he wonders, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lift up all his, there's uncomparable God. You are serving the living God. We are serving the glorious God. We are serving our God in Daya Elima Usha Telima. Let's begin to lift our voice. And give that thanks to him. Let's worship Jehovah God. Father, there's no one to compare with you. Father, there's no one like you. Father, there's no one beside you. Father, we thank you for the end of your grace, for the end of your power, for the end of your goodness, for the end of your faithfulness. We thank you, O God. Blessed be the name. Blessed be the name. We thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Let us begin to dip ourselves in the blood of the Lamb that can cleanse us, that can wash away our sins. Let's begin to ask the Lord, Father, cleanse me, wash me in your blood. Father, one thing that can only forgive sin of a man is only through the blood of Jesus Christ. Nothing else. God is only God. And there's no how you can do it. He has to punish sin. A good judge will not let you go. A good judge you know, will not let you go. You, he will not let you go. A gentleman, a father and a, child, and a son, the, the son is a policeman, and the father is just a, just a, a, a citizen driving, and uh, the son gave the man a ticket. As a policeman, he said, oh, "You gave your father's ticket." He said, "Yes, because I have to uphold 
my duty. He breaks the law and he has to be punished by law. I said, what are you going to do is your father? He said, what I'm going to do is that, okay, that ticket, I'm going to pay it for him. But that punishment, someone has to receive it. But that very ticket, I'm going to pay for my father. Because it's my father, truly, he's your father. But you're a policeman. He said, yes, I have, to, I have to punish him. But that punishment, I am going to give him the money. I'm going to pay the money for him. That's what Christ did for us. God will not let you go. God will never let unrighteousness go without punishing. He has to. To, to the punishment, the wrath of God was satisfied in Jesus. The wrath of God was satisfied in Jesus. That very punishment for you and I supposed to receive was in Christ. Was done in Christ. It was chastised. It was beaten. He said by his strife that we are here. He was wounded. Why is he wounded? And remember, he's a sinless man. He has no sin. He's the only person that has no sin. He's the only person on earth that he has no sin. I know many of us, we go to scripture, Jesus did this. Jesus beat people in the temple. Jesus said to this woman, you're a dog. No, go and look at the very text. Very well. Jesus was very is righteous, a righteous anger. Not a, I know many of us, we stand on that. So I have a righteous anger. No, 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 that's not that. He's standing for the truth. You know? He's standing, Jesus is standing for the truth in the temple. Because he said, Oh, you have made the house of my father a den of lion and thief. They are robbing people. So he stood for the righteous, for righteousness. So his only thing that can cleanse you is only through the blood of Jesus Christ. That means he took your place. So it's the gift of God to us. So when you say you accept Jesus Christ as a personal savior, I mean, and you follow him, I mean, in that place of that punishment, Jesus has took that place for you. He took the place of you. So if you, it's a gift of God. Remember, it's a gift of God. So many people, it's not because of that very sin, you know, because many people are going to hell because they, re they reject the gift that God has given to them. So I paid the price for you. Take it. So I don't want it. I'm going to do it on my own. Okay, no problem. If you can able to do it, no problem. And there's no one that can be able to do this. There's no one. There's no one that can be able to do it. There's no one. Even though me, I can't able to do it. Because I have a shortcoming. Hallelujah. But he is the perfect one. Lift up, I want you to plead to him this morning by the blood of him over your life to cleanse you from every iniquity of your heart. To wash you. To stand in your life to cleanse you the blood of jesus cleanse me oh the blood the righteousness of jesus right when you plead to the blood you are pleading to the righteousness to the holiness of him of jesus into your life to come upon you ah to come upon your life to come upon your life ah mayaya shateli utaya. Open your heart to pray. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus set me free. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. I am free. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow, the blood of Jesus set me free. I am free. The blood of Jesus set me free. From sin and sorrow. The blood of Jesus set me free. As the Lord, let the blood deliver you. Let the blood of Jesus cleanse you from every iniquity of your heart. From all our weakness before him. In the name of Jesus, 
asate. Let the blood purify you. Let that blood sanctify. Let that blood purify. Let that blood cleanse. Let that blood purify. In Jesus' name, we pray. Another thing that we look unto Jesus, there is no one, any other religion in life that the leader or the founder paid the price. It's only Jesus Christ that paid the price that I'm going to lay my life down for you. It's only one. And not only that, he said he's going to take it back. I lay it down and I will take it back. There's no one that can take his life back. If that anyone that lays his life down, that person is gone totally. He said, I will lay that life down and I'm going to take it back. He laid it willingly, not forcefully, willingly that I will lay it down. But I'm going to take it back. I've never seen anyone in life that laid the life down and now take the life back. No. Anyone that say kill me and I will wake up again. Tell me. Many people tried. The dealer has tried. Say, oh, kill me. I'm going to raise up. No. There's no one. There's no one. It's only him. Ah, so how do you know? We are not there. The historically said, Jesus is alive. It's true. The history declare that the, that Jesus is true. It's not a fairy tale that there's a man called Jesus. So it's only one that lay his life down for me and you. You know, the power of him in you testify to it. The power of God in us testify that Jesus is alive. Lift your voice and say, that Jesus, I run to you this morning. Deliver me. I call upon your name. Fill me. Somebody open your mouth and pray. Say, Jesus, I run to you this morning. Deliver me. Say, Jesus, I run to you this morning. Save me. Can we lift your voice and begin to pray? In the name of Jesus. Jesus, I call upon you this morning. Deliver me. Jesus, save me. Open your heart to God. In the name of Jesus. Cry to Jehovah God. The Lord Jehovah God. In thy Abba. Ask him to deliver you. Ask him to save you. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, open your heart to him. Open your heart to him. That Jesus, save me. Jesus, deliver me. Open your heart to him. That Lord Jehovah God. Open your heart to him. Jesus, tell the Lord. Jesus, to deliver you. Open your heart to him. Open your heart to God. That Jesus, save me, O God. Jesus, deliver me, O God. Open your heart to him. Jesus, save me, O God. Open your heart to him. My Lord and my God. Ask the Lord Jesus to save you. Ask the Lord Jesus to deliver you. Somebody pray. Jesus, save me, O God. Jesus, save me, O God. In the name of Jesus, open your heart to God. In Jesus' name, we pray. The word of God told us when you accept Jesus Christ, you have life. That is not my word. That is the word of God. When you, when you reject him, the Bible told me, the person is condemned already. Is it con anyone that rejects him, the person is condemned totally. It's not my word. It's the word of God. If you accept him, he say you're going to have life. If you reject him, he say that person is condemned. And I know we can go back and forth on this. Why him? Why, why him? It's only him that promised life. That's, I don't want to, want you to know that. Nobody promised you life. It's only him. That's how I'm going to give you life. He's, only, he's, he's not saying Father is going to give you life. No. He said, I will give you. Not only the Father, God. No, no, no. He said, Him is going to give you life. Him is going to resurrect you. Him, not the Father himself. He said, Him himself will give you. So there's no argument on that. Yes, because he's the one that promised. He's the one that said that he will do it. 
Is he lying? No. The word is true. He said, the word I say to you are true and life. He said, he told the disciple, the, no, the Pharisee, he said, my work testify. You can, can you see? Can you see what I'm doing? It's only God that can do this. It's only God. It's only God that can raise the dead. It's only God that can save life. I've never seen anyone on this earth. Tell me the doctor, when the life leaves the body, I say, I'm going to bring that life back. I've never seen that person. People can conjure the spirit. People can you know, go to the spirit and talk to the spirit. You know, the uh, single message. People, people can do that. People can talk to the dead, but not to the one that has the body. Can return life back to the body. It's not possible. It's only God that can do that. It's only him that can do that. They are resurrect. It's only one that can lay, that lay his life down and pick it up. Open your mouth and pray. He has the power. It's only one that can be everywhere when we are calling. As we are praying, that many people are praying. It's only one that is going to be there. And I know he's going to prove himself to you today. Say that, amen. Oh, that Jesus. He said, whenever you call, I will answer you. That very Jesus, he will prove himself to you this morning that you will know that he's there wherever you are. Lift your voice and pray. Say, Father, let your power of your grace touch my life this morning. I, my tiny Messiah, open your heart and pray. Let there be manifestation of your glory in my life according to your word. Lift your voice to pray. Ah, my Yaya, my Sandia. Kotori meketi ni masandia. Open your heart to God. Ye kete ni mi seteli mekete bo. Open your heart to Him. Rateki ni masandile bo. Let that Jesus manifest Himself. Let that Jesus open your heart to pray. Ah, makate ni masandia o. Open your heart to God. Jesus manifest yourself in my life. Jesus manifest yourself in my own. Jesus manifest yourself. My yeli mukusenti le bo. Open your heart to God. Open your heart to Him. Jesus, manifest your power in my life. Open your heart to Him. That that very Jesus to manifest Himself in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to Him. Father, manifest yourself. Jehovah God, 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 manifest yourself. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice to him. Call upon him right now. That God, you are going to manifest himself in your life, in your home, in your family, in the life of your children. Open your heart to God. My Lord and my God, in the name of Jesus, my Lord and my King, manifest yourself in Jesus' name. We praise it, Daddy, as I'm here. This morning, set my life free totally from my struggle, from my shame. Set me free, Jesus. Set me free, Jesus. Set me free, Jesus. I want to begin to open your mouth and pray. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, set me free, Jesus. Somebody begin to open your heart to God. Say, Lord, set me free from this sickness, from that bondage. Open your heart to pray. Say, Jesus, set me free. Jesus, set me free. Somebody pray. Ask the Lord to set you free. Ask the Lord to deliver you. As the Lord to rescue you, as the Lord to deliver you, my Lord and my God. Ah, makata yaba, le son to the mesente, boko pruda kayaba, le sen to the mesente, le bosante, pacanto the macantia, open your heart to God, le keroba kete, lo zuto kuba, Jesus, set me free, open your heart to God, Jesus, deliver me, in the name of Jesus, open your heart to Him, in Jesus' name. Our Lord, we pray. Say, Lord, Spirit of life, enter into me. Ah, I want to open your mouth and pray. Someone can be walking and the person is dead. You can see business being as, like this. And that business, there is no life in it. Yes, someone can be walking and is dead. You can see people going to work and that work will not yield anything in life. You can see people doing things and that thing the life in it is dead. Lift your voice. Spirit of life, enter into me. Life of God, 
enter into me. I want somebody to pray. Life of God, enter into me. Life of God, enter into my life. Life of God, enter into my work. Somebody pray. Life of the living God, enter into this ministry. Life of God, enter into the life of every children, every family, every husband, every wife. Open your mouth and pray. Lift your boy and tell the Lord that the life of God, life of God, in Ayaba, Lushanti, Libukapaye, open your heart to him, life of God, end time to me, Ikapaya, Shekete, Libu, open your, when the life of God will end time to you, you will live. When the life of God end time to you, your life will transform, your life will change. Open your heart and pray, open your heart to God, life of the living God, enter into me, in the name of Jesus, life of God, enter into my marriage, open your heart to God, in the name of Jesus, ask the life of God to enter into your business, in the life of your family, in the life of your children, somebody call the light of God, open your heart to God, somebody pray, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus name, we pray, I want you to say it one more time before the Lord, and pray it by understanding. Do you know the Bible told us when you pray? You pray in the spirit and also you pray in understanding. If you only pray in the spirit and you don't pray in understanding, it's not good enough. I mean, you know what, you understand what you are talking about. They say we should pray in spirit. I have it. And also pray in understanding. You know what you are talking about. When I say the spirit of God enter into you, anything that have no life in it is dead. And that's what they want to take away from someone. Is to take the life away out of the business. Because life makes you to increase. When you have life, you multiply. When you have life, you produce. Hallelujah. When the life is in you, that's why I say I give you life. That's why Jesus can give life. I give them life. And no one will take them away from me. Because when you have life, you're able to live. Though he die, he will live again. That's life. So Jesus can give life. And life is things of the spirit that will make your life to produce. I want to open your mouth and pray. There are many lives that enemy have robbed many people. They're just in one place because there's no life in it. That's what devil want to rob someone of is the life. If I cannot take the life away, that thing will remain the same. Open your heart to God. That's why I say pray. Lift your voice and say, Lord, let the life of God enter into me. Life of you, Jesus, enter into my business. Somebody pray. Life of God, enter into my womb. Somebody, you that you are trusting God for the foot of your womb. Life of God, enter into the life of my children. Somebody pray for that life, that the life of God enter into you. Life of God, enter into me. Somebody, let's pray. Let's pray. Tell the Lord, life of God, enter into me. Life of God, somebody pray. Open your heart to God. Ask the Lord that the life of God should come upon you right now. Life of God, enter into me. I pray for the life of God. 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 I pray for the life in the name of Jesus. I pray for the life of God. I pray for the life of God. In the name of Jesus. Somebody pray. Open your heart to God. Somebody pray. Pray for the life of God. To enter into your business. To enter into your journey. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God. Life of God. Life of the living God, enter into me. Life of the living God, enter into my business. Life of the living God, enter in life of my children. Somebody, can we pray? Tell the Lord, I need the life of you. I need the life of you. I need the, ah, thank you, my daddy. I need the life of you. I need the life of you. My father, I need the life of you. Jesus, I need the life of you. Somebody pray in my home, in my life, in the name of Jesus, in my family. I need the life of you. Somebody pray, open your heart to Jesus, that you need the life of him this morning, that you will make a toyaba. 
Listen to me, make it to you. Somebody pray. Pray for the life of God. Pray for the life of God. Pray for the life of God to enter into you. To enter into your business. To enter in life of your family. To enter into your marriage. Open your heart to pray. Ah, my yakata. Le kem to le meke telebon. Mate kere mashi kelebon. Somebody pray. Pray as the life of God. Father, I pray. Life of Jehovah God. Enter into me. Life of God. Enter into me. Life of God, enter into me. Life of God, enter into my business, enter into my education, enter into that board exam. Open your heart to pray. Let the life of God enter into that board exam. Open your heart to pray. Lift your voice and pray for the life of God. In Jesus' name, we pray everything that lives has life in it. Everything that lives has life in it. The tree. If you see that tree, there's a life in the tree. That's why you stay standing. If your car, even though your car is driving, there's a life in your car. There are many dead cars. There's no life in it. So life will give you movement. You're able to move. You need life, your marriage. In every area of life, you must have life. In your education, you have life. In your journey of life, in you have life. That's why God said, I'm going to return us. He's going to return the life back to you. If life part in a man, that person is dead. Totally. There's no way. Because the life, and the only life of God, it only comes from God. Remember, the Bible told us, the breath of God has made me. The Spirit of God has gave me, give you life. He gave me life. The Spirit of Him gave me life. And that's what the devil, devil wants to squeeze, squeeze away from us. The life of the progress. Life of fulfillment. I want you to open your heart and say, I pray this morning, life of God, enter into me. Life of God, enter into me. Life, you will see. Your life will be transformed. If that life can enter into you this morning, as which I believe is going to enter, if you pray by faith, if that life of God enter into you, you will see the transformation. You will see that total change in your life. Life of God enter into me as on today. Life of God enter into my finances. Somebody pray that prayer. Ah, yeah, yeah, bah. Lantoria makata. Elia, Elia, Syria. Bukumble dekere. Life of God, enter. Life of God, enter. Ay, Messiah. Life of God, enter. Somebody pray. Lift your voice to Jesus. Life of God, I need the life of you. I need the life of you to live, Holy Spirit. I can't live without it. Ah, Makaili Messiah. I can't walk without it. Elianama Opera. Luzon Telebakapai. Zudayaba. I pray for the life of you to enter. Into me, life of God, enter into my life. Life of God, enter into my business. Somebody prayed that the life of Jehovah God to enter into your womb, to enter into your marriage as on today. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Say, power of God, this morning, Ikapa, turn my life around. Power of God, this morning, turn my life around. Somebody pray in the name of Jesus. Open your heart to God that the power of God this morning to turn your life around. Somebody pray that prayer. Tell the Lord, power of God, turn my life around. Power of God, turn my life around. Power of God, in the name of Jesus. Ikatayaba, rapate kilebo, rapando limasanda, reposhon to limeshen tilebo, laken tilebo kapa. Open your heart to pray. Power of God, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. We pray. The Bible told us First Peter chapter five verse seven. Is it cast all your excitement, anxiety, on Him, because He cares? Cast your burden on the Lord. He said, because God cares. And what is burden? Say, tell me, what is burden now? Burden is things that overwhelm you. Burden is things I don't know what to do. 
body is things that you don't know who to run to, who to talk to. And we all have it in life. Am I going to do it? Ah, am I going to do it? How this is going to be possible? You look at the time, you look at your life, you look at your situation and overwhelming you. You know, some bodies has gave some people a sleepless night. They can't sleep. It has caused many sickness in the heart of people. Some people have their blood pressure has gone up because of what is happening in their life. They can't undo it. Truly, they can't undo it. There's so many things in life that you cannot undo. It's too big for you. There's something that in life that comes our way that is bigger than us. There's certain things in life that you are not expecting. I, I never think I never that this will happen to me. But it, it has happened. Sometimes in life, you never thought you are that you be in this position. If they ask many of us, tell me, are you going to be in this position? They say, never. Never. I don't ever think so. But it has happened. You find yourself in it. Not you're going to be in it. Some people are already in it. You know, you already been in that situation. So how are you going to do it? Are you going to think your way out? Or you call your you call your way out? Or you let you cast your body on him? He told us, cast all your anxieties on him. Why? Why I have to cast it on him? Why? 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 I have to cast it on him. Why? Why I have to give the burden of my life? Why I have to give my own problem to him? Number one, because he has no problem. Number two, he is able to do it. Number three, he told you to do it. Hallelujah. Number four, he has the power to make that body to be removed totally. I don't know what's in your heart this morning. I don't know that, that very thing that overwhelm you. I don't know that situation of life. It seems that it's not possible. Sometimes you look at situation, can this thing be possible? Can good thing come out of Nazareth? Is this thing be possible again? Can good things happen to me? Even if the enemy is telling you, nothing can come out of you, forget about it. And you see it, see it around you. Say, Lord, I cast it on you. Daddy, I cast it. That, I won't begin to tell that body. I don't know that very thing that bothers you. I don't know that thing that troubles your heart. Begin to tell the Lord, I cast my failure on you, oh God. Oh, whether you have tried, you have tried, you have tried. You have tried many times to do it. You have tried to make up. Yeah, 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 my shanty. You told me to leave it for you this morning. Oh, my earlier, my answer, tell you, oh, Father, I cast my body on you. That burden of disappointment, I cast it on you this morning. That burden of failure, I cast it on you this morning. In the name of, I don't know that very thing that bothers you. Uh, that burden over your child, over your children. That very thing that troubles you. Uh, that very thing that does not give you joy. Open your heart to pray. My father, I cast it on you this morning. Somebody pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. My father, I can't sit my body on you. In the name of Jesus. Open your heart to pray. Cast that delay on him. I said, leave it for him. I leave my battle for you, oh God. I leave my struggle for you, oh God. I leave my shame for you, oh God. Open your heart to prayer. I need my delay for you, oh God. My shame can take it to the devil. My cat take it to the Le prendo shake it to My cat took a rope. Le prendo shake it to In Jesus' name. You pray. I'm going to sing this song in Yoruba language. Hello? For those that you don't understand the meaning of the song, Lord, make me to stand. Lord, make me to stand. I'm weak, but you, you are strong. Bemiro Oluwa Bemiso Bela Ba Oh 
ask the Lord to lift you up. Daddy, I cast my battle on you this morning. You have been trying. You know, if I give many of us, if I open the line, I say, where have you? Tell me, where have you? That very place that you have been to find solution to that very thing that is happening to you. I know this, this we we're going to be here forever. I've been here. I've been on this thing. And tell me what kind of prayer that you have prayed. And yes, we all pray, you know. That sometimes God don't really answer us immediately like that. He make us, I, I, I don't want to go, so I need to explain again on that. So why God don't do it immediately? Sometimes He built us up. Sometimes He want us to have faith in Him. Also, He want us to have that trust in Him. Yes, let me have. Yes, that's part of what you see. Do you still trust me? That can make a way for you. I want you to lift your voice and tell the Lord that is time. I leave this for you. I leave this problem. This problem of barrenness. This problem of delay. Open your heart and pray. Make a way for me. In the name of Jesus. I leave it for you this morning. In the name of I don't know that your body. I don't know that very thing. He said, cast it on him. Leave it for you. I leave it for you this morning. Somebody pray. Take over. Lead my battle, oh God. Lead my battle, oh God. Lead the battle of your children. I cast it upon you this morning. Somebody pray and cast it on him. I can't do it, oh God. 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 I surrender. I can't do it, oh God. I can't do it, oh God. Open your heart to pray. In Jesus' name. We pray. So if you want him to come quickly, quickly realize that you can't do it. When you are showing God I can do it, you will not do anything. Anytime you are proving to God I can do this, I got this, don't worry. You know, sometimes in America, that you want to help somebody, somebody say, oh, don't worry, I got this, I got this. <laughs> sometimes you want to help some people and you just move to them, you know, so, oh, hey, brother, can I help you? He said, no, no, I got this, I got this. Anytime you are telling God, you got it. Don't worry, we leave it for it. Okay, are you sure you got it? Oh, no, I, don't worry about it. I'm going to do it for myself. Okay, no, take it. But anytime when you come to God, and God says, do you got this? He said, no, no, no. I need the help of you. Hallelujah. I need the help of you. I want to open your mouth and pray. Say, Daddy, I need your help this morning to be free. I need your help to move forward. I don't know that very, tell the Lord, you know that very thing. You know that very thing in your heart. You know that very thing. I need your help in the name of Jesus to be free. I need your help. 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 I I leave it for you. I cast my body on you. Make a way, oh God. Make a way for your children. They leave their body for you this morning. Turn things around. Visit them. 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 Ah, Maoria, Masaya, Waili, Andaya, Boko Pelukati, Lekentori, Miketi, Masanda, Boko Tori, Moshon, Tori, Mesente, Boko Bladakati, Bako Plendopelia, Lozon, Tori, Mesente, Lacan, Tori, Moko Prada, Lesen, Tori, Mesente, Lebon. Visit them, Oga, 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 in the name of Jesus. Break the yoke of enemy. Break the battle. Ikatayaba. Solution. Perform your miracle. Perform your wonders in their life. Make a way. In Jesus' name, we pray. When God answers prayer, it makes our heart to be happy. I'm telling you, when God gives that desires of your heart to you, I bet you'll be happy. You will trust Him more. Prayer will make sense to you. You know, sometimes when you don't see any result, it makes no sense. It's true. You pray in the morning, you wake up, nothing happens. You pray in the night, nothing happens. Sometimes you begin to think, ah, what's going on? Are you, is it for you? And the devil begin to send people around you. Don't deceive yourself, all you people. You just think God answer prayer. God, I don't think so. 
and all over you know all what is going on all over now me social media life that you just pour and then we just push one on our side mm, got you thinking you begin to think is it true all jesus they are talking about this jesus ah is it for you all this while i've been praying i've been pastor praying no you know not only that some people not only that some people have so they have so not only they are only praying even though they are sowing go and sow this give this thing and they are doing all that at the end nothing there's a doubt will enter into your heart it's true that's it's true don't don't think so it's only to say what's going on is it for and you see the scriptures that told you he pray he answer god can do this is it gimmicks or what they will pray you're going to play a prank on many but when there's a result it makes art merry it ink that's why the devil don't want you to have it that's why satan don't want you to have the result because it increase if you're truly child of god it increases your faith it, it increases your belief it makes your trust to be solid because you see the hand of god in your life when there is no result, we will pray and nothing happened. It makes art weary. I'm telling you the truth. So there's no need to lie here. Yeah? It makes art weary. It discourage. It makes some people to lose hope. Some people walk away. They all this Jesus thing. And uh, there are many people testimony that you can see they are saying all over there. Say I walk away out of the church. I don't believe in the uh, Jesus anymore and they begin to explain their problem in life and they explain their problem in life and they realize that uh, they are going through things for real they are passing through things for real that makes them to walk away out of Christ but remember as a child of God he told us he that endure to the end he told us that we should endure no matter what to a true child of God, we must come to a point in our life. I surrender, whether a total surrender, but in that surrender, also you want to prove yourself to you that it's true. So you don't let the problem run you out of God. You let the problem make you to stay. I know, I know, I understand. You know, because I've been there. You know, it's like a pastor is a supernatural person. No, 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 nothing like that. I'm a woman being like you, but I will not dwell on that. You know. I will not give such excuse. But I'm a woman be like you, so I've been there. So I know that it, you get this courage. You feel somehow. But one thing, you encourage yourself. That's what you do again. And you see, you look back to past testimony. What encouraged you when you got in that point? Look back to your past testimony. Look back to what God has done. If you are in that situation this morning, look back to past victory. The past victory will motivate you to get that victory that you need. Look back to past victory. Don't just look. God has done something for you. You have been in some situation in life when it seems it's not possible and God of ever make a way for you. Look at that. If you are going through such a thing, you are discouraged. You don't feel like praying anymore. Ah, you walk away. Some people walk away. Some people don't believe. They live this Jesus. What kind of Jesus you are talking about? Jesus cannot do jack. <laughs> all these lies, this scam, all this Jesus stuff. I this and that. I pray that Jesus could do this for me. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, it's true, you know that it's out there. Don't let deny it. But he told you in Jeremiah chapter twenty nine, verse eleven, for I know the thought that I have towards you, declare the Lord. Plan for welfare. Not for evil, and to give you a future and hope. So God wants to give you hope. He wants to give you future. No matter what you are going through this morning, there's going to be a solution. And I believe God wants to do it. I strongly believe God wants to be do it in our life. Because He told me that He wants to do it. The word of God testified to it. That He wants to set His people free. He's happy to do it. God is happy to set you free. 
I don't know what you are going through this morning, but I want to assure you this morning, a result will come to your request. Say that, amen. No matter years, you have suffered enough in place of prayer. I say you have suffered in not only in your life, in the place of prayer. That you are, yes, it's time for heaven to crown you in the name of Jesus. Today it's time for God to answer you. I don't know what you are, that you are passing through. Because the word of God told me that you should give that burden to him. Because he came. Everything that's so heavy in your life. Everything that heavy in your heart. My Lord and my God. Jesus, this morning, in your power. He can, ah, my eye is silent. Begin to do it. Jesus, this morning, in your power. Solution to every battle. Jesus, this morning, they want to see you. They want to see you. Jesus, your people want to see you. He said, they that seek you, you will appear to them. Appear to their life. Appear to the need. Attend to that battle. Attend to that shame. Attend to that barrage. Attend to the needs of everyone this morning. Solution. Solution to every battle. Solution to every struggle. Solution to every shame. Oh, makaili mekori mikete. Boko pawu pata. Lobaili isadea. Boko boke tekete kete kete. Boko riba kanda riba kete. Wayaya ya ya makata. Rika paur katori mistrita. Wayili peo filistra. In the name of Jesus. Everyone that is here this morning. I don't know what you are passing through. We declare it's over. Your struggle is over. We call for the manifestation. We call for the supernatural power of God. To manifest your situation, to break the yoke, to set you free. Let that God give that joy of your salvation to you. Not only that you are going to heaven alone should be our joy of salvation, also to experience the power of Him. Salvation is number one, that you are a child of God, that your life is saved, that should give you joy. Another thing, that also you are enjoying the benefit of that salvation. The benefit of salvation is when your life has progress. You are the light among men. People see you not as a failure. No, oh, greatest people. Oh, you know, you see some people. You know, that can never be a, a, a kind of join these people. And not only that, some people, they will dress like that. They act like that. It's like, come on, come on, I can't, come on. I can't be among these people. The way they dress, the way they do things, the way they are reasoning, they are thought in their heart. The reason somehow and people say, come on, I can't join all these people. Come on, these low, low people. But no, you are a child of God. You are higher in Him. People must see the glory of God in you. I pray in the name of Jesus. I pray everyone that is here, let the grace of God rest on you. Your burden this morning, everyone remove it. Say it. Say that burden out. Say it. Say it. Say it. Say it, say it, say it out. No more, no more, no more, no more. Say it. I don't know that thing that bothers you, that's so heavy in your heart this morning. But I want you to say it. No more in my life. This body, no more. This thing that trouble me, no more. Say it out of your mouth. Say it, say it, say it. My father, I hear it. In the name of Jesus, give them solution to this body. No more. The battle is over. Your shame is over. Your disappointment is over. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' name, we pray to everyone trusting God for the food of the womb. Let God bless your womb. Bless you. To every marriage, go and be fruitful. To every life, whatever you are trusting God for a life partner, let heaven give to you. Go in this blessing. The water is covered. We cover that water by the blood of Jesus. And let the name of Jehovah God be glorified. In Jesus' name, our Lord, we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us put the man at the prayer. Continue by God's grace. By God's grace, today in the evening by 5 p.m. Eastern Time, and the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in your life. And also, let us know that uh, um, all our programs coming up, uh, especially the one in Nigeria, let us put in mind by God's grace. Um, to tell your family, I say I'm going to. I'm planning, you know, if you live in the, around 
or your or your state area, you know, or also there's a program that we are planning also to have there by God's grace if God give us the grace to do. Yeah. Uh, so by God's grace and I know the Lord Jehovah God will do great things in your life in Jesus' name. Let's share the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and it's been fresh Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And I will dwell in the house of this God. And I will believe in this God forever and ever. Amen. For that victory that you have received today, remember, you have cast your burden on him. Now, don't think about it. Begin to walk and plan on it. Begin to plan. Take a good step. Don't think, how are you going to do it anymore? You have talked to him about it. Give him a chance to do it. You know, many of us, we do pray, but we don't give God a chance to perform his word. Leave it for him. Leave that thing for him. Begin to act. Begin to take a step. Sometimes, you know, you have to take a step. And if you don't, I don't know what you do to do, but leave it for him. And you will see. He will perform his word. He's a faithful God. He will do it in your life. God bless you. Thank you. See you in the evening. By God's grace. See you in the evening.